Hey everyone, hope you're well out there in your little guitar corner of the world. See that? I, I put it at the beginning this time. I'm unpredictable like that. Uh, today we're going to have a look at one of my all-time favorite Jimmy Page guitar solos. The Solo to the Rover from Zeppelin's best album, 1975's Physical Graffiti. Ooh, did I just say that Physical Graffiti was Zeppelin's best album? Well, good golly, I did. <laughs> Uh, now, it's not the most high-profile uh, page solo of the bunch, but it certainly does have its fans and admirers, with one of those fans being Jimmy Page himself. Page has stated in different interviews that it's one of his own personal favorite solos that he has ever recorded. Jimmy Page, of course, could do bombastic hard rock, he could do blues, he could do 50s rock and roll, and he could definitely do melody as well as anyone. Uh, this solo is ample proof of Jimmy at his melodic soloing best. So if you're ready to learn it, let's close in here a little bit on the fretboard and have a look at it. This one is for you, Dan. All right, we are in standard tuning with this one, and we are working in F sharp, and we're working uh, pretty much exclusively in the F sharp natural minor scale. <laughs> Right there. Two, four, five, two, four, five, two, four, one, two, four, two, three, five, two, four, five. And we're also we're gonna be working in this box. We're also gonna be working in its octave box here at the 14th fret, and we're gonna be working in this box right here at the ninth fret. That little box right there. Uh, so let me just show you this box. It's uh, 9, 11, 12, 9, 11, 12, 9, 11, 9, 10, 12, 9, 10, 12. That little box right there. <clears throat> All right, so it starts at the uh, in this position here, uh, this little box here at the ninth fret with that little lick right there. Nothing too complicated here. A little hammer-on from 9 to 11 of the A, then a hammer-on from 9 to 11 of the D, and then two pick notes at 9 and 11 of the G. And then you're gonna slide out of that. And now you're sliding back into this position of the F sharp minor, and uh, now we're gonna play the exact same thing we just played, but uh, an octave lower. But we're going to stop there uh, at the uh, second fret of the D string. So we're going to go 2-4, two, 2-4 four, two, four of the A, and then 2 of the D. And now we're going to slide into uh, 4 of the D string after hitting that note. So we're going to slide into the 4, then we're going to go to the 2 of the G, on to the 4 of the uh, G, and then we're going to give that a full step bend. From the top. Now, from that bend, you're going to release the bend, and then quickly jump into a uh, this little trill between four and six, pull back off to four, and then back it up to two. Kind of like that from the beginning. And now we're back into this position again. So a quick slide into 11 of the uh, D string, and then off to 9 of the G, on to 11 of the G. So you're not hearing a whole lot of this 11 of the D. You're sliding into it and then immediately jumping down to the 9 of the G. Into this lick. So a little uh, hammer on pull off, or single trill I suppose I like to call them. 
between uh, 9 and 10 of the uh, B string. And then just riding the notes right up the scale, uh, 9, 10, 12, and then going down to the 9 of the uh, high E. And then when you get down to the 9 of the high E, you're going to go back to 12 of the B, and then immediately into a full step bend at the 10th fret of the B string. And then you're going to go 9 of the B, release that bend off to the 9 of the B, and then 11, 9 of the G string. So let's take it up to that point from the beginning. Now we're into this. That's a lot easier than it's, it doesn't sound super hard, but it, it sounds complicated, but it's, it's really not. Um, so you're going to go uh, 9 to 11, then 9 to 11 of the G, so starting on the D, then down to the G for a double hit at the uh, 11 of the G. And then you're going to go 9-11 of the D, 9-11 of the G, and then down for a little single trill between 9 and 10 of the uh, B string. And then it's very similar to what we did a little bit earlier, now you're going to ride up the scale, you're going to go 9, 10, 12, and then back down to 9 of the uh, high E. And then back to 12 of the uh, B string. right back into another little trill there uh, between the 9 and 10. And then after that little trill, you're going to go up to the 11 of the G and then back to uh, 9 of the B. And then two pull-offs from 11 to 9 to finish that whole phrase. So that whole phrase. And then we're into this. Again, nothing seriously complicated here, but uh, nice, you know, melodic stuff. So, so we're, uh, we're coming out of this. So we're going to grab the 6th fret of the G string, immediately slide it back to 4. And then pull that 4 off to 2 and then start riding between the 4 of the D and the 2 of the G. You do that twice. So a little pull off, back onto the 4, pull off to the 2, up to the uh, 4 of the D and then back to the 2. Just like that. And then you're going to grab the 4, slide it into 6, and you're going to hit the 5 of the B string 4 times. And then you're going to repeat that whole thing th 3 times. So in context, uh, and with some kind of melody, because uh, um, I'm kind of teaching it here and I'm, I'm not playing against a backing track or anything, so I'm kind of losing the melody a little bit, from here. And now we're into this box at the 14th fret. And that's the end of the solo. 
So we're doing a unison bend. Uh, we've got our middle finger on uh, 16 of the G and our index back here on 14 of the uh, B string. And then you're gonna do a unison bend. Then you're gonna grab that note at the 14th of the B and then down to the 14th of the high E. And then immediately into a full step bend at the 17th fret of the B string. And then you're going to get your pinky underneath it uh, and hit the 17 of the high E. And while you have that uh, uh, 15th, sorry, 17th of the B string still bent, you're going to hit it two times and release it. And then off to the, uh, uh, the 14 of the B. And then uh, kind of a circular thing going on here where you're, you're repeating the same thing like three or four times. This is a little tricky because you've got to get those pre-bends. So you're off to the 14, back to the 17 of the high E, and then you got to get the pre-bent 17 of the B to release it. Uh, and that's a little bit tricky. And then finishing the solo with just a bend at 16, release the bend off to 14, 16, 14 of the D string. And that's pretty much the whole solo. Well, it is the whole solo. So I'm going to run through the whole thing at a nice relaxed pace, even though it's not a very fast solo to begin. Well, it's not, it's not slow, uh, but, uh, and then we'll be done. So. And that, my friends, is how you play the solo to The Rover by Jimmy Page and Led Zeppelin from 1975's Physical Graffiti. Uh, great song, great underrated track that is, and a great underrated solo. Uh, so anyway, I hope that helped you out. Uh, you guys take care of yourselves, hope you're well, and uh, we will, we'll see you next time. Cheers.